you might be new to manual mode. In this video, I'll tell you more about what manual mode is. It gives you more direct control of the aircraft than altitude or position mode. I'll tell you why knowing manual mode is essential if you're piloting Astro. And I'll show you how to become really good at flying in manual mode. Astro ships with manual mode enabled because the reality is that things go wrong with aircraft. At FreeFly, it's our responsibility to give you an answer to the question, what happens? What's the procedure when altitude mode or position mode fails? The answer is, in manual mode, most of the sensors and most of the code are out of the way, giving you, the pilot, direct control of the aircraft. We think pilots want to take pride in their flying skills, to practice, to perfect, we think that pro-level pilots value the feeling of willing the aircraft to do something and feeling it respond, feeling it connected to you. Astro rewards that kind of skill and that kind of flying. It feels great. You'll love it. Astro is not for everyone. It's for pro-level pilots who value investing time in perfecting their flying skills. There's a red sticker on the manual mode button because when you engage manual mode, the sticks function significantly differently than they do in altitude mode or position mode. In manual mode, the main difference is that the left-hand stick, the throttle stick, is a throttle. Instead of controlling vertical speed of the aircraft as it would with altitude or position mode, the left-hand stick controls the amount of thrust produced. It's like a gas pedal. The right-hand stick, on the other hand, is exactly like altitude mode. The aircraft tips forward and back, left and right, to an angle that's proportional to your stick deflection. And when you release the stick, the aircraft levels itself. If it doesn't control position, the aircraft will drift with the wind. Manual mode is not a racing quad mode. You won't uh, accidentally find yourself upside down. Tilt and roll are limited, and uh, when you release the sticks, the aircraft will level itself rather than keeping whatever angle was set. As a parenthetical, I think it would be fun to do flips with Astro, so I'm going to make a video showing you how to configure it to do that. But by default, no flips. Pitch and roll are limited. To learn manual mode, start with the Beta FPV CETUS kit. On the controller, put switch B in the middle position. I put a little bit of red tubing on switch A. That switch controls arming, and the tubing makes it a little easier to feel. To build your skills, try these maneuvers. Start with a hover. Bring it up to your eye line, pick a horizontal line in the background, and hold the aircraft there. This is really hard. Once you can do this in a stable way, most of the rest of these things will be easy. Then move the aircraft around. To begin with, use the right stick to push the aircraft forward and back, left and right. Use the left hand stick, moving it horizontally, left and right, to turn the nose. And fly with the nose facing the direction of movement, like an airplane. Then start flying around obstacles and through gaps. Start with big gaps and then smaller gaps. Try landing it precisely. Play around with the aircraft in different ways. Try, you know, flying through obstacle courses and different things like that. Make up, make up games for yourself and, and play with your buddies too. When you get comfortable in manual mode, then the next step after the little aircraft, the next step is to transition to Astro. So the thing to do is to watch the next video. It's called Astro Taking Off and Landing in Manual Mode. Watch that one and watch the one called uh, Mode Comparison. It'll show you the difference between, relationship between uh, position mode, altitude mode, and manual mode. You'll get a sense of what the sticks do in each mode, and then you'll be ready to go flying and switch comfortably between all three modes.